step away from the sewers and never trust a clown. We're watching the trailer for Stephen King's It. I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. Trigger warning, if you aren't a fan of clowns, creepy children, unmanned balloons, or swamp vomit, this is not the video for you, boo-boo. That's right, the trailer for Stephen King's It dropped this morning, and it looks absolutely terrifying. Here with me to watch and talk about it are DJ Wooldridge and Charlie Feldman, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm scared AF, but we're doing it. Jonathan, show it to me. That's not as scary. That's just a logo. It's just a logo. You don't find boats scary? The oh. SS Georgie? Hi, Georgie. <laughs> oh, creepy kids. So when is when do we think this, do we think they've updated the kit part a little bit closer to modern times? I, I don't know. It kind of looks a little old school the 80s. There's no parent hovering over this child, so I'm yeah! thinking it's the 80s. Take it, little, never mind. No. There's a This is street? kind of shot for shot. This is how Georgie, I mean, oh, Spoiler no, warning for no, a 30 year old. No, don't, <laughs> no, no, don't do it, 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 don't do it. No, I'm just, no. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I feel like if Georgie, Georgie, it was gonna happen with Georgie. I'm sorry, Georgie wasn't parented <laughs> it wasn't right. It wasn't gonna be a clown. Yeah, if it wasn't a clown, it was gonna be something else. Georgie <laughs> was gonna go. Ooh, yeah, it looks, no, it's definitely vintage. Definitely 80s. Yeah, yeah for sure. Damn balloon. balloon. Unmanned balloon. <laughs> See? Don't trust unmanned balloons, Don't, everybody. No. All the things that used to you think were fun at parties, they just they're just gonna out <laughs> try to kill you. It ruined parties for everybody. Yeah. Clowns. Oh hey, hey Stranger Finn, Things. Finn, uh Wolf Word. Wolf Hard? Wolf Hard? Yes. Wolf Hard said word. It might be Wolf Hard. Wolf Hard sounds wrong. No, it's right. Wolf Hard. This is a little super 80. It just went like slightly super 80. Well, there's mm -hmm. a standby me thing because yeah. Stephen King yeah. for sure. So beat Stranger Things certainly beat Super 8. So is this me. is this the even older equivalent of the TV on the Fritz, the projector <laughs> freaking out? Oh boy! So are they scared because because the Pennywise the clown. weave the is clown. like weird? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah, Bad ah. weave. On man balloon again. Uh uh. Oof. Quality meets. Quality yes. meets. What? That's never good. They should get that fixed oh. in the sink. It's kind of a grudge thing. <laughs> creepy kids. <laughs> don't trust creepy kids. Creepy children. Listen, if you run into anybody in the sewer, don't go home with them. <laughs> nope. Can't sleep, clown will eat me. Can't sleep, clown will eat me. Ooh. All right. So. There it is. <sighs> Okay, don't judge me! <laughs> ah, what do you think? What do you think? What did you think, Charlie? Let's talk about it so I can remember that this is, it's all fake. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I am about it. I i cannot wait. I. No one's going to replace Tim Curry for me. Tim Curry you was can't. Pennywise. The voice was Pennywise. So I like that the revision of it with uh, Stellan Skarsgård's son, uh, they made his forehead really large. <laughs> it's filled with your nightmares. <laughs> Just stuffed it in there. Um, I'm interested in their interpretation. There's a lot of jump scare potential, which is... I think a little cheating for me. I like mm -hmm. more uh, cerebral scares, mm -hmm. but you've got a creepy clown wandering around. It's going to be a good, scary time. DJ? I, You know, a full disclosure, uh, I've only seen chunks of the original miniseries slash movie It. Um, obviously, Tim Curry as Pennywise classic. Uh, familiar with it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is fine. This is the second time watching the trailer. It's, it, uh, it, it looks pretty for you know like it looks like a horror movie should but i don't it, nothing about it it looks like it's more creepy than scary to oh, me oh interesting yeah well what moments stood no. out in the trailer for you what specific shots anything that you think like really stood out in your mind what i liked but also what worries me is the shot for shot I mean, that's probably in the book. I didn't read the book. Full disclosure, didn't <gasps> read the book. But uh, you didn't have to read the book. They made a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but they made a miniseries. And that's how Georgie meets Pennywise is the boat goes down. He follows, has the, the salt, more than salt, uh, yellow thing. Yeah. And uh, 
he has this conversation with uh, Pennywise in the sewer. And my worry is that it's a little um, Freddy, the the Nightmare uh, on Elm Street. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When they did the remake of it, they did a lot of like revisions and, and recreations of scenes that already existed. So I'd like them to do their own thing and not go back to the miniseries too much. Well, it's interesting because I think a good opportunity would have been do, to do that is my understanding is the both the movie and the book were pretty divided down the middle with them People as kids like and them it. as adults. Yeah. And I think now with nonlinear timelines being very popular movies with Quentin Tarantino and Christopher Nolan, this would have been a good opportunity to intermingle the two elements. The losers, the losers, from my understanding, you see, well, this whole movie will just be them as kids, and yeah. then if they get a sequel, then we'll have them as adults. So, mm. I, but but we don't know. Mistake, this think. is purely speculation based off of the IMDb credits. There are no adult versions. Yeah, and mm. that's been the rumor going around that they're yeah. trying to split those into two movies, especially when uh, Carrie Fukunaga yep. from True Detective, yep. he was supposed to be directing it, and now is not. But I still think it looks. Pretty damn scary. So I, the miniseries of it, mm -hmm. totally traumatized me. Traumatized me <laughs> to the point that um, I was like, wait, what movie starts with a creepy little child walking around singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider? We rewatched It Is the Opening of It. Um, and while most people, yep, yep, nope, it, <laughs> think of my nightmares. Big while nope. most people say that uh, it ruined clowns for them, it ruined children for me. <laughs> like just creepy ass kids, man. I can't even with it. So. You came to horror later in life, DJ. Yes. What are the makings of a great horror update? Because like you've seen The Thing and you've seen yeah. John Carpenter. How do you like re-envision something and make the it great for a new? Thing remake was terrible. I think, Sorry. yeah, yeah. You no, know, I know you're right. Um, the I think what makes a good revision or remake is if you find some, if the new director, creator, whatever, find something personal to them. I might get a lot of crap for this personally. I think one of my favorite remakes ever is The Evil Dead. Because it, huh. it becomes, the director made it about overcoming addiction, mm. and it made it very personal. Same director that did um, um, the, it just it literally just left my brain, uh, with Stephen Lang, Blind Guy. We're oh, just, oh, 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 don't, don't breathe. breathe. Don't breathe, yeah, yeah, same director that did that. And it made it more personal, and so it became, it became something new in that. And they were able to, they had their own story to tell with the same pieces. Mm -hmm. And so if you can make it, uh, that's what makes it feel fresh again. You know, what do you to me. think, Charlie? Um, I don't actually think that was a bad remake. No. I, it really, it was more scary than the first one. It wasn't as comedic as the second one, but I think that no. was intentional. They yeah, wanted a really scary. Yeah, that last like 15 to 20 minutes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with the tree rape. Um, uh. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what makes a good, again, I, I think you're correct in saying that it's making it your own, not doing the same things, not doing shot for shot. We already have those movies. We already have yeah. this mini series. Just make it your own. And they have. Pennywise looks different. Yeah. It's a different interpretation. So I'm, There's a higher waist on the pan. It is. <laughs> it's a much higher waist. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, when we're talking about breaking this movie into two possible parts, so if there is a sequel, one of the things that even though they terrify me, children are scary AF, mm -hmm. but also they're easier to identify with and mm -hmm. to put in peril. Yeah. So how do you make a really terrifying sequel where you focus on the adults? Interesting. That's a very good question. Are they already are they already kind of like handicapping themselves for whatever, whatever potential sequel? Because this is going to ride off the success of Stranger Things and right. all that stuff. I mean, you put Finn Wolfhard in there. Yeah. You were going to have the comparisons yeah. regardless. You know what you're doing. But you, I mean, with Finn in there, who's playing the Seth Green role, which is really cute. Uh, <laughs> Will Seth Green cameo? <laughs> Seth Green could be the adult fin version of I Finn mean, Wolfhard. Honestly, that would be great. That'd be very cute. He's available. Cute. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Um, Can't be that busy with robot chicken. <laughs> but <laughs> what this needs to do is have a cast of really good child actors to build from. And once you have that sort of base, I think the adults just build on that. Yeah. Uh, and because of Stranger Things, because we've had what essentially is a really good it property, yeah. uh, I think, yeah, they have it all laid out for them if they if they wanted. Well, considering the fact that they lost Kerry Fukunaga, I'm very excited about this looking solid, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think this looks solid, and we want to know what do you think? Are you excited to watch it, or will you be hiding under your bed where I might be next to you? That's also kind of creepy. Let us know in the comments below. You can tweet us at SJNews. Make sure to like and subscribe. Of course, you can always click here for more Screen Junkies news. We'll see you very soon.